question. Do you ever think you could stop living paycheck to paycheck? Answer. Stick around and find out. Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and Jan from New York City likes to save money, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? And as always, I hope that this video finds everybody doing well. But before I get into the paycheck to paycheck, breaking the bondage from, let's talk about this. Today is July 31st, and today is the final day of the month of July. And the people that have been following this, doing the day-by-day buck-a-day savings challenge for July. Remember we were counting the other day? I think we ended it off at about $46. Well, guess what? It crept up to 66 So you see, it can be done. It was over twice the goal. So tomorrow, being August 1st, you may consider beginning the challenge. Start off with a clean slate. So what happens is, at the last day of the month, what I do is I seal up the envelope, mark it July, toss it to the side. That's why I'm just going to keep doing and keep doing and keep doing until I want to stop it. I originally said I'm going to stop at October 1. I think we're going to keep going until November 1. So if you want to join me, tomorrow is a brand new month. Okay, let's break the bond that you're paycheck to paycheck. And when I come back, we'll do just that. See, here's the thing. Many of us have been conditioned to think, to think that the only way to live is paycheck to paycheck. I don't know where we got it from, maybe relatives or our parents or just bad habits or just didn't care. Just didn't care enough to pay attention to our finances, especially when we're kind of like young and dumb back in the day. Well, it happens. Okay, but it's never too late, okay? And you're willing to make the changes right now. Here's what you do. You need to not be afraid of your budget. Tomorrow being the 1st of August is a perfect time. You're going to be hopefully reviewing your budget soon, right? The beginning of the month? Okay. You do that and get familiar with the figures. Let's pretend that you get every single month at least $3,000, but for some reason you're not making it every month. You have to keep relying on your check, okay? And you can't seem to save. Then that needs to be the key figure that you aim to save for, to strive for. At least one month's expenditures, okay? One month's income. So let's say that you bring in 3000 The goal would be at minimum 3000 okay? But if you could add a couple of more hundred to it, you would be way ahead of the game. Now, how can we do that? When I come back, we'll talk about it. Okay, so you've arrived at a figure at about $3,200 a month as the number that you want to strive to save for. Okay, it sounds like, I don't know, it sounds, what's the word I'm looking for? Insurmountable at the moment, but it is not. It really is not. You know why? Because in this case, we're going to break it down into baby bites. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to aim to try to save 10% of that every month, which would be $320, okay? And you're going to spread it out over the course of... Um, 10 months, okay, and you will have arrived at that figure of $3,200. If you need a little longer, that's okay. The idea is that you are working towards a goal, okay? So, okay, so the, the end figure, the goal, is you want $3,200. That's $3,000 a month of normal expenses and outgo, but you're adding the other $200 as the beginning of a savings, okay? Great, the panacea number. Now, the real question is, how are you going to earn that extra $320 each and every month? Well, let's do this. First of all, you could cut down on your expenses right off the bat. If you could shave $120 off of your expenses, you know, the frivolous stuff, or do the rice and beans gig that you hear about all the time by Dave Ramsey, Cut back on your groceries. They're a strategy. Stop eating out so much. You know the drill. I mean, all of us here on Budget Channels tell you guys this every single day. You might even be sick of it. Come up with your own creative ways, okay? Um, 
get rid of your car payments. A lot of people, I, I thought I read something somewhere where people routinely spend like at least 500 a month sometimes on car payments. Woo. That's not good. Okay. But that, that could be another video. Okay. And that's up to you, but find ways. First of all, where you could cut back on your budget because by cutting back and cutting out right off the bat, you're going to make your life easier. So let's say we're going to find ways to save $120 right off the bat. Boom. Take that money out, make an envelope. Yes. Another envelope, but it's well worth it. And write down breaking the bondage of paycheck to paycheck. This I do for me. I mean, how empowering is that? Really? It really is. So yank that money that you cut out, throw it in that envelope and forget it's there. Now your next job is to generate more income. So what you need to do is find some side gig, some hustles, whatever. I understand that, I mean, there's never an ending, uh, there's never an ending amount of need for childcare, for example. Just saying that as an example. That's something you could always do. Or, or you don't mind delivering things, being a delivery person. Just look at or sell stuff on eBay. Go through your own inventory. You might have one item in your home that you don't use that you could sell for a few hundred bucks. When I was at the height of my eBaying, could I tell you something? I sold a rare Confederate bill on eBay. This was about 20 years ago for almost $7,000, okay? But that I did for, for a friend, and I got a commission for doing that. So we went half on that. So I walked away with a chunk of change for not a lot of work, but just a lot of research and good writing. You can do it. Just look around. Do it, okay? Uh, so if your goal is to reach, to pay yourself that $320 a month or more, I'll never stop you from adding more. By doing this every single month for at least 10 months, you have broken the bondage of living paycheck to paycheck. Now, doesn't that sound like a neat idea? And by the way, why don't any of you uh, let me know if you're going to try that dollar a day thing? Because what I'm doing, that money is discretionary. I think I'm going to put it towards my Christmas fund or uh, some sort of a treat because I don't care. We don't do the paycheck to paycheck gig here. That's over a long time ago. And I want that for you too. Okay. Okay. So in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City and Jan from New York City likes to save money. And my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, give me your input. What do you suggest for people who want to break the bondage of paycheck to paycheck? Do you live in that bondage of paycheck to paycheck? I think it is a bondage. And I'll tell you why. Because we're going to talk about one of my least favorite things that people resort to tomorrow. It is the dreaded, dreaded payday loans. Ooh. Come back tomorrow and we'll talk about